what's what's the season been like for you? You know. You know, I think it's, the season's been, obviously, we started off there and had a couple games. You know, I thought we started off well against BYU, had a couple games there. You know, we didn't didn't win, which was frustrating for everybody, certainly for us. And then I think you look at where we came from and won the sixth of the last seven. Um, really, really proud of our players. I think they I think they took, took the situation, stuck together. And I think as a team, they played extremely well. We talked about that. Coach Joe talks about one team, one heart beat. I think you look at it, we won nine games, went six and two in the SEC. On offense, we, we had eight turnovers, which is number one in the nation. Um, we had balance. We talked about wanting to be balanced. We were 210 rushing, 201 passing. Danny Etling was 14 uh, touchdowns and two picks. We improved our deep passing game, which was something we set out to do. The number of guys who touched the football, I think our backs had 384 or five carries. You know, really good flip. The wide outs had 56. And you look at the receptions, the wide outs I think had 80. Tight ends had 40. Running backs had 39. So we talked about balance. I think 14 guys carried the ball, 16 guys caught the ball. All the things we came out going to do. Obviously, you want to win them all. And every game there, there's a chance to win a game. We didn't get it done. So, but I think I'm really, really proud of our players. Really proud of what Danny did and the way he managed the game and took care of the football and all of our guys. I think it was a great, a great situation. Obviously, wish we won them all, but I think it was a great job. How did the offense kind of improve from that Troy game on? I think um, from the Troy game on, I think we just, you know, I think they just kept working. We just found a way to win. Again, that's the reason. The reason you want to be at a place is you want to win, and um, and then we just found a way to win. You know, 17 to 16 at Florida, which. You know, flashy and statistics doesn't look great, but we had three true freshmen playing, right? We had all those guys go down. At one point, we had Lloyd in there, so a redshirt freshman as well on the offensive line. And we found a way to run the football in the swamp and win the game. And you come back and beat Auburn. And um, So I think every game, every game's different. That's the funny thing about our sport, about the offense especially. You know, some games, I know that, but the Ole Miss game, the White House didn't catch a pass, right? No, guys, what are we going to do? And then we did this. So every game is different. And I think our kids bought into being unselfish, bought into just finding a way to win. Matt, Matt, you you want to be here next year? I'd love to be here next year. Have you, have you talked to anybody about your future? You no, know, I haven't. I, I don't think you know, right now it's about the bowl game. I've, I don't, I've told I'm, I'm working hard. I'm, I set up a plan. I, I say I, we as an offensive staff set up a great game plan. We feel we're playing a tremendous defense. And a tremendous defensive coordinator over there. And Coach Elko, he's done a great job everywhere he's been. Uh, so it's a tremendous challenge for our players. And that's all we're really focused on right now is just trying to get to 10 wins. Is it, is it difficult to keep your, your players focused after the last few days? No, I don't know. Our players, are, I think our players are they're, they're good. They know what's going on with with our focus on winning ten games. And I feel like our players and I we got a really good situation going again. Again, I think we've all stuck together, and I don't think there's any issue with that at all. Have you had past experiences where maybe your job was questioned and you're coming to a game like this and being able to kind of. Focus and get past it. Yeah, again, I'm not even. I'm, I'm just focused. I'm just really focused on the game, focused on our players. You get one. You look at these kids. Think about DJ Chark. I mean, what a year he's had, right? As a senior, he's come on. He's become an elite receiver. He's averaging over 20, 20 something per catch. Our White House in general are averaging 19.5 per catch. I mean, the numbers that those guys have had with Russell and DJ on the edge. It's been amazing. Again, Danny playing like a senior. Um, the kids up front, Will Clapp, what a great job he's done. So I'm focused on our guys and enjoying being around them, and that's what bowl season is for, is to, to spend a little bit more time with the team you have at the time, and the team always changes. So I know you got this game, but looking ahead to next year, what do you mean in the spring? What are you excited about? Where do you see this offense progressing? I think this offense is, is has untapped potential. I really I think the players that are here and the, and the players that have been recruited here to come here are going to add and, you know, fill in any voice that, that might be there for this team and I think the offense will just explode. I think it's going to be a great situation. After the season, what, did you explore any head coaching opportunities? You know, or? head coaching jobs, guys, you don't you don't apply for head coaching jobs. Uh, head coaching job, people people call you, I'm sure in your business too, right? If people want to talk to you about being a head coach, they call you. Talk about offense, where, where you see it going. How does it change with, with Miles or, or, or Narcis with, with the different quarterback? How do you see it progressing? Well, I just think I think those guys, I think Miles is are certainly talented. He's got in there a little bit and played well and has great great ability. Lowell Narcis has great ability as well. He's had a tremendous practice here um, as he's gone through everything. And um, you know, we've, we've given Coach Elliott a great job of getting the young guys some reps, allowing those kids to show in the bowl game, which is that down bowl. Bowl games are huge because you got to go win for us. We're going to try to win our tenth game against a great opponent. But for our players, you know, it's continuing, you know, continued skill development, as, as those talks about. And I think 
Lowell's done a tremendous job of taking advantage of those reps. When, when you when you got here, 